Hi, my name is David Tu, and I'm an application scientist with Keysight Technologies. You might have seen our other video where we played with the water and uh, made it do quite a few different things. So in this video, we're going to actually show you how it was done and how we accomplished that with uh, Keysight's function generator. So in front of us, uh, we actually have a bit, a little bit of a setup, and I've got my friends here, Key and Sight, to help uh, demonstrate the cool effects of our water video. So um, right in front of me, I have got a couple of pieces of equipment. I've got a, a subwoofer, a speaker, that kind of moves this water hose back and forth. And then in addition to that, I have this spotlight LED here that actually is used as kind of a strobe light. So that's going to be uh, flashing on and off. And we drive both of those with our key site waveform generator. Right here, I have a 33600A, which actually um, has two channels of uh, signal generation. And I'm using that to kind of control both my subwoofer and my uh, strobe light. So uh, when we turn off the lights, we'll actually start seeing the effects. And we'll actually, I'll try to explain what's happening on both the speaker and the strobe light so to uh, get each of the effects. So let's uh, go ahead and turn off the lights. So now that we focus in on the, the water a bit, let's go ahead and turn on the system. So I have my function generator connected to an uh, amplifier, an audio amplifier, in order to dr drive this subwoofer. So let's turn that on. And right away, we can actually start seeing this cool water effect. So what's happening is that this little strobe light here is vibrating, or is flashing on and off at 50 hertz, 50 times per second, whereas this subwoofer is vibrating at 50 hertz, which is also 50 times per second. So when they are both uh, at the same frequency, uh, we get this cool standing uh, still in air effect. So it's like it's frozen in air. So if I change the strobe light a little bit, I can actually get the water to look like it's slowly falling down. And so you actually might have seen this in a previous video of mine, or actually on a very popular video on YouTube as well. But uh, in this video, we'll actually talk about uh, some additional effects that you might not have seen before. So with this uh, nice little slowly falling water effect, we have the strobe light flickering on and off at 49 hertz. And the speaker is still at 50 hertz. So um, it makes the uh, image look like it's actually undersampled. So it's coming down really slowly. If we change the strobe light to be a little bit faster than the speaker, so now the strobe light's at 51 hertz, it looks like the water is coming out. It's not a video effect. You can still see key and sight in the, in the cup of water here uh, swimming around normally. If you wanted to, I could put my hand in the uh, uh, video. And you can actually see the water looking like it's coming out of my hands. So it's a neat little effect. And you might have actually seen that in a different video. But let's show you some other effects that we can do. So here, we actually have a frequency modulation effect. So the speaker is actually changing frequency from a really slow frequency to a really fast frequency uh, in a very uh, quick manner. So it's, it's only changing a few hertz at a time, but it it's, uh, gets us this nice little yo-yo effect with the water. Another big effect of function generators is amplitude modulation. So amplitude modulation basically just changes the size of the signal um, at a different uh, rate. So here you can see the small signal and then the large signal. Small signal, then a large signal. That's, uh, that's called uh, amplitude modulation. That's what I'm using there. So here, it's uh, let me try to fix this a little bit. We have a kind of a double effect. And I'm going to just change the, uh, the signal a little bit smaller so you can actually see two different types of uh, water. So what's happening is we actually have, have two different streams that show up in the video. On the speaker now, I'm still, I changed the frequency to 40 hertz, just a little bit slower. But what I did was I increased the frequency on my strobe light to be 80 hertz. So that's twice the frequency of that speaker. That's why you get two different water effects. So you can actually see two different things because it's twice the frequency. Similarly, if I make the strobe light just a little bit sm uh, slower than twice that frequency, I can make the water look like it's slowly trickling down. And then if I make it faster, I can make that uh, double helix effect look like it's coming up out of the 
uh, tank that I got right here too. So really neat effect. All I'm doing is just uh, doubling that frequency of that strobe lights. So here I'm actually doing my final effect, which is called the frequency sweep. So it's actually a very slow sweep all the way from 20 hertz to 80 hertz. At the 80 hertz you see a lot of different squiggles with that line. And then as it goes down slower and uh, slower, down to 20 hertz, you just have, just have uh, one solid stream, but it's still bending. The water looks like it's uh, bending in air, but actually the, it's flowing just freely. And I can play around with that effect with my finger a little bit and uh, play with how that water looks. And again, this is not a video effect, it's just uh, just uh, aspect of me controlling this lighting on that strobe light. So, if we uh, turn on the lights, please. As you can see, the water is kind of free flowing. You can still sort of see that little bit of a squiggle of line here, but the water didn't, didn't actually change. It's all this effect is just due to my strobe light and my speaker that I'm generating here. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I would like you to, to subscribe to our channel if you can, or if not, just uh, so share this video, and hopefully we can uh, educate some more people about this neat little effect that we have on our video. Thank you very much, and thanks for watching.